Yo, I think I might regret this. Damn. Why I cut my hair off? I don't know. And everybody asking where I've been, I took a break. So some people just need a break from social media. On Sunday, September 29th, 2024, Dr. William Nicholas Abraham's body was found along the side of the highway in a rural area east of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. His body was found bludgeoned to death and wrapped in a tarp. Citing surveillance video, the East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Department states that Dr. Abraham was last seen alive entering the apartment complex of rising TikTok personality, Terry on Thomas, better known as Mr. Prada. What caused this 20-year-old to murder this therapist? Was they in an intimate relationship? Or was this a murderous revenge plan plotted over nearly 10 years? Let's dive into the madness behind Mr. Prada's mayhem. Hope you true crime junkies came for your hit of this. Welcome to How to Deal. Terion Ishmael Thomas, better known by his online persona Mr. Prada, was born in Baton Rouge, Louisiana on February 28, 2004. He's a TikTok influencer who has gained significant popularity on the social media platform. Mr. Prada began gaining traction on TikTok in late 2022 by sharing comedic and relatable videos focusing on student life, family, and his dating adventures. Although becoming notorious for copying other creators' videos shot for shot, his unapologetic attitude towards their complaints helped the now 20-year-old gather over a massive 8 million followers across two TikTok accounts. Over the past year, Terion's followers have expressed concern over the TikToker's well-being after he shared a video of himself practicing his mugshot with the caption saying, this might be the year someone gonna meet God if they piss me off. There were also posts hinting at his loneliness and uploaded videos showing Mr. Prada shaving his head and eyebrows. <sighs> Enough of this. Okay, life update. Life is a fucking mess. Life is a mess. Fuck this shit. Like, I just cannot believe this is my reality right now. My life is hell. My life is a prison. Get me the fuck out. Like, I just woke up yesterday. I woke up yesterday. I woke up yesterday. I looked at the ceiling. I said, ah! But recently, Tevion has become infamous for a darker reason, for being labeled as a murderer. On Tuesday, October 1st, 2024, a Baton Rouge police officer attempted to conduct a traffic stop on a black Lincoln MKZ. The driver of the vehicle, later identified as Tevion, did not comply with the command to exit the car. Instead, he allegedly backed the car into the police unit before speeding off, crashing the Lincoln, then fleeing on foot, escaping the police. Surveillance images was released and an arrest warrant was issued for the charges of aggravated criminal damage to property, resisting an officer, and unauthorized use of a motor vehicle. Online detectives and internet sleuths helped identify the man as Terry on Thomas, AKA Mr. Prada. The car Mr. Prada was stopped in by the police was registered to a 69-year-old named Dr. William Nicholas Abraham. A biography of Dr. Abraham on his website says he was a priest for 14 years and he had 30 years of experience treating substance abuse, depression, and anxiety, providing psychotherapy and counseling to individuals, couples, and adolescents. Several viral posts on TikTok and X, some amassing millions of views, are claiming that Terion was connected to Abraham's 2015 arrest when the therapist was accused of inappropriately touching an 11-year-old client. Those charges were later dropped, but we'll get right back to that in a few. A few days prior, on September 29, Dr. Nick's body had been discovered wrapped in a tarp along US Highway 51. His body was found in a horrific condition with bruises covering his head, shoulders, and neck, according to the sheriff, who described it as a very violent and physical attack. Dr. Abraham was captured on surveillance footage entering Mr. Prada's apartment complex the day before his body was found. Witnesses saw Terion dragging a tarp down the stairs and loading it into Abraham's car, according to the affidavit. The East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office said its detectives searched his apartment and found evidence that a violent physical altercation occurred there. It said they found several sharp objects, weapons, and a lot of blood, with DNA blood tests matching Abraham's. Mr. Prada was arrested in Dallas on October 1st after Baton Rouge police said he fled from them in Abraham's car. He was extradited to Louisiana and booked Monday, October 7th, into the East Baton Rouge Parish Prison. As of October 8th, 2024, his charges has been upgraded to first-degree murder and obstruction of justice. 
This charge makes the case eligible for the death penalty in the event of a conviction, should prosecutors decide to pursue that case strategy, officials say. The sheriff's office said the investigation is ongoing, but added there is no evidence that Terion was one of Abraham's clients. Mr. Prada's relationship to the victim remains unclear and no motive has been given in the killing. Now, although you may find videos on TikTok and Twitter and all over, alleging that Mr. Prada was the 11-year-old that Dr. William Nicholas Abraham might have inappropriately touched, I mean, the math does kind of add up. Terion was 11 years old in 2015. But Abraham's defense attorney that was representing him during the case told NBC News that Mr. Prada was not the child involved in the case. The case remains ongoing with many questions still unanswered. Just feel like I did.